Sebastian as a tutor. Let him instruct you. But I don't love him. I love Ronald. So? Don't you want to make Ronald happy? Practice makes perfect, Cecile. My advice is to sleep with as many people as possible. That would make me a slut. Wouldn't it? Cecile, everybody does it. It's just that nobody talks about it. Um, 
Anyways, yeah, Gemini's, okay, they're, like, really schizophrenic. Like, whatever. Like, they are so good at being affectionate kissers. They are so good with their mouth. They're good with their hands, kind of coordinated people. They have clean booty holes. At least they're hygienic. I mean, God, they're spotless. You can only have them once because they already got a sample of you. So perform like an Aries. Do it quick. <clears throat> Do it good. Or take your time, whatever, like a Capricorn. Uh, take all your time because they have all the time in the world. They're going to get younger and younger as they get older. Are you worried about you? <laughs> whatever. I don't know. So strange. Okay, Cancers. Gross. Oh my god, they're so not hygienic. They're not afraid of intimacy. They're insecure. And they want to have sex with anybody because they have to have it. That's their insecurity with sex. So they're going to get it. Stay tuned for part two because it's...
just a thing. It's just a side effect, you know? But all of these astrology signs usually have, and Leo's, they usually have multiple orgasms, and like, it's like right after they um, orgasm, and they regenerate really quick, and they want to do it over and over and over. Good for them. And then they're so romantic and all that, but we'll get to a different uh, page of astrology on that shit. I'll probably be really fast talking like this and crap. Um, okay, um, like cancers, they're sexually insecure, so they just have to have it. So they just have sex with everybody, which is cool, because they do that whole skating thing, which is awesome. They usually always wear, like, short shorts and uh, cowboy boots, which is so sexy, like, Drew Baymore. She's a moon in cancer. Hello, but she's a Pisces, Gemini rising. Hey, I'm a Aquarius Pisces, Gemini, Cuz Cancer rising, moon in Aquarius. So I got all her signs on up on that. Mm-hmm. Matching. Okay, well, um, like, the world is round, who gives a fuck? Okay, it's retarded. Um, Pisces and Aquarius, well, Pisces are the most obvious minus signs of all, and that's what I'm showing to you, I'm in heaven and Pisces, hey, I'm showing you that I'm so fucking open-minded, and, you know, sincere that, you know, I'm set up as shit just like you, and I, I really want to be attending, attending to your miserable bullshit, because, you know, if you don't have any misery, then what am I going to do with you? I'm like the savior, like Jesus. Jesus is Pisces, Capricorn Rising, Moon and Aquarius. Hello? And that's another, for another astrology video. I don't know why I can't just put it oh on Oh my here. god. Fucking airplane. Minute. And rain. Well, I'm getting off this bullshit. I can't even tell. I guess I'll just watch this. And you know, fucking blue. Well, I'll have that's to. That's the radio that's been playing. I'm trying to find the button. I'll have to finish um that with another video, some other videos. So that'll work. But yeah, that's my other channel, Unicorn Mushroom. Okay. Okay. Oh my god.
whatever. They are also can be pretty shallow in a way. That's ridiculous. Um, they're very sweet. They don't have no willpower to quit their nasty habits. I mean, how come nothing happens to their face? What the fuck? They're just like invincible, mothering, nourishing people walking around the planet like whatever. Okay. Um, can Leo's. Okay. They're the most addicted to sex of all signs, I guess. They probably would know things. They have, like, a skinny shape. Oh, yeah. Cancer signs? They're usually not circumcised, and that's your parents' fault. When you have a parent, and, uh, uh, your moon sign is a different moon sign from your brother or sister, and you're the only one that didn't get circumcised, you're probably a cancer sign. I don't know why they like your thing like that. Even Teal Swan is against circumcision, so maybe her kid is a cancer sign. I don't know. I mean, that's me. But I just want to mention Teal Swan. Hi, Teal Swan. <laughs> I telepathically talk to you somehow, somewhere in this cosmic universe because I collected uh, what I love, and hey, you're pretty fucking cool. One of those people. Yeah. No matter if you have balls, whatever. Yeah. I'm accepting. I don't know. Anyway, um, <clears throat> why am I talking about other people? I'm psycho. I'm putting all my relationships in my 10th house, and my Venus is in the 10th house. My Mars is in the 10th house, so this is what you'll see. So I'm forced to talk about it. My Mars and Aries is that force of nature or something. It's force ball. I want to force it in. Get it out of with. Whatever. Okay. Leo. Yes, they're so exotic. Mm, they're so romantic feeling. Oh my god, being with them is like so dramatic. I'm a Pisces because whereas I love the characters and their little play that we're in and they always make me fucking cry. I mean everything makes me cry. I mean God. Even for a moon in Aquarius, like I can be objective and, and see things from a different point of view and cry later because this being for crying is not for you right now. I'll go do that in a movie somewhere. Like a high or something. Or something, Jupiter Aquarius. Um, can mask feelings and stuff. It's pretty cool. I mean, there's so much to do before 15 minutes is up with YouTube. Well, let me have 15 minutes. Okay. So I'll do a part two. So 10 by 10. Another part three. We'll come up. <sighs> okay. Part. What a fucking disappointment I can get all my shit in one video. Stupid YouTube and your 15 minutes limitation of bullshit when everyone's going through a cosmic act and we can't get everything fucking in a YouTube video? Okay, let's talk about sex then. Let's get it in there. Go over it. There you go. There's your fucking music.com. Okay, well anyways, anal ways. I want to talk about, like, okay, I'm on Leo, the heart of the world, of the Zodiac, how sad. Well, they are fucking romantic, they can put you on an adventure, it's really freaking sweet, like, like, Virgo's supposed to be the adventurous line, hmm? Well, I'm gonna go to so part sure, like, three, okay. Weird, but they're still adventurous. Whatever. Aries are like... I wanna fuck! I don't fuck losers. That's Taurus. Gemini. I'll fuck your brains out. Cancer. Sweet. <laughs> Yeah, this is Sex, Biology, Astrology, in case you didn't know. Yeah, I'm wearing green. <laughs> I'm wearing green. It means you're horny. <laughs> uh, or another color, like purple could be, meaning that. Anyways, uh, trying to find a place to sit down to talk to you about this astrology phenomenal about sex um and biology and pillow talk whatever well anyways aries they just want to um play the cat and mouse game the fire signs uh and sagittarius just want to tell you that they want to feed that cat <laughs> they're like yeah uh sagittarius are like the best dirty talkers of the Zodiac, at least, and they have really good sexual energy. Leos have some really good sexual energy. They're pretty good at persuading people to get in bed with them. <laughs> um, they're pretty uh, much romantical.
don't think you feel up for things like that. Yeah. Mm. The Aries are really good at pleasing themselves and getting themselves off because they're good at quickies and everybody knows this. Yeah, Virgos are the best at giving head. Capricorns have the longest winkies. Aries have crooked winkies. According to what's the sharp, sorry, that I mentioned to you. But that's, you know, you gotta get your information from somewhere. And that's cool. I'm looking at this magazine that it's gotten though. Okay, I'm distracted. Yeah, that's what a Pisces does. They get defused. Pisces, they're like, um, just a big old fantasy. They like the role play and stuff. And it's funny, just change it to a whole bunch of characters. Anything goes with an Aquarius. This is why Aquarius is make the best prostitutes because they can detach and stuff like that. Isn't that funny? And they can be a good pimp too. They'll be like, be the pimp, be like, let me see your equipment and you pay me is the Virgo kind of thing. Virgos, they're good at selling sex. They're like the pimps too. They analyze the situation and see if it's good for their um, product, which is the prostitute, I guess. And they have to um, screen the clients or something. Like a Scorpio would be good screeners. I mean, I'm not suggesting that you go out and go sell yourself because you think that you're worth something and that makes you feel like you have some value, like a Taurus or a Virgo. <laughs> Being partner signs, they're the best, like, uh, allies for each other. But, that's weird. Um, but yeah, like, if you're in a, a cult and you get initiated by having sex, <laughs> that's funny. One of them would screen you, I guess. Capricorns. They're just like, come and get it. <laughs> like, you know, Penny Sun. That's pretty funny. She's really good at that, those videos. I'll probably link those videos below. Yeah, this is cool. Okay. Wow, that's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that. It's really hard to even get it. That, like, Moon and Aries people, they like denim. I think that's funny. I'm just saying random things. I think it's funny. Wow, neat. Some jeans with like a pocket in it. A pocket. That is so cute. I love this piece of paper. I want to keep this. This is amazing. See, look. It's a pocket. And it looks like jeans. Neat. I got the deputies in my back pocket, like the authority cap ones. It's a little Gemini's. They're really good at flirting. Gemini's are really good at flirting. And Sagittarius are really good at dirty talking. <laughs> um, oh my god. I don't know what I'm saying because it took me so long to even get to this. Now I'm distracted. And. I want to just keep on going. Cool. Oh, Cinderella story. Oh, and that's actually got some, and it's actually called Cinderella shoes. Oh, that's not the picture. This is the picture. Cinderella story is what it says, and that's really cool. God, five minutes. I'm well, going to six. Cause, you know, that's the cult number, magic number. Isn't that funny? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, what else should I say? Yeah, the Capricorns and the Tauruses and the Virgos are all about money. So, yeah. And there you go. Aquarius, but they're still adventurous. Whatever, I'm so crazy. Leo's and Aquarius's. Roll the ego. Hell yeah. What happened to you? What's happening to me? Uh, laws of nature agreed with you being yourself, so they wanted to fuck your life up. <laughs> okay, God. 
then we can we go balance it back to ourselves to let you know that I'm going to be myself no matter what. And that would be like a Leo's point of view. Pretty sure. Because our egos, like, at least it helps us float. The Aquarius, air, whatever, they're helping, ev holding everything up. A Leo is nerd, uh, shining on everything, helping everything light up. Like, what the hell? Why can't we have these privileges? Because we are all privileged signs. We have a privilege to sign. And we want it. And so, we're happy go lucky with it, right? Like a Sagittarius, and do you think you deserve it? You, inconsiderate psycho. I don't know. You know how people are. I mean, I, could, I don't know what this video is going to be called, but it will probably be sex attempt to talk. Because <laughs> I already did um, my sex talk. Uh, biological astrology on unicorn mushroom astrology biology back or something what but look at my account unicorn mushroom I'm psychic too is basically one of the videos you can look at which I like that video I'm trying to probably record now I can't access that account and that's fucked up I mean I have all this proof of my eco number, but I don't have the memory of when the first time I ever uploaded a video, or the second time, or the last time, like, who keeps up with that stupid shit, these verifications are retarded, like, anyone can see on, underneath a video, and see, there's a time there, and it still doesn't matter, I forgot, so, okay, get over it, two minutes, you're late to time, okay, videos, yeah, they're buff, like, Sagittarius want to look like that, it's so funny, I don't know, why am I saying that, because not all of them are buff, and they don't care, I don't know, okay, uh, Virgo, yay, they're so domineering, wanting wannabes, they'll hold you down, tie your, uh, put your hand behind your back, and tell you to be uncomfortable, and let them please you, that's not pleasing anybody, stupid, and they give the best head, for some reason, it's my computer slowing down, there you go. Well, they do, because they have an angelic mouth, okay? Okay. Um, and Virgo, yeah, so, I don't know if I can say any more, because I'm just too scared of saying, like, the truth, or a truth, or something that will hurt somebody's what? Feelings? Hurt your own feelings. Fuck this shit. I can't help that what I've ex- mm -hmm. <laughs> well, since we left off with Virgo, I'll have to do a whole new other video. Sorry about the complications. <clears throat> I'll try to make up for it or record the unicorn mushrooms um, version of the sex biology astrology. Okay? Okay. Toodles.